It's the Rizzuto Show on 105.7 The Point. This dude's blowing our minds during, uh, during the commercial break. Oh, the mentalist is here. Still here. We're still Do here. Riz, you're shaking. Well, I know. he. he it, it, describe what he did. Okay, so he says, here, Riz, wait a second. Before you take this, let me reach in my, uh, he's got a suitcase over here. Reaches <laughs> in a suitcase and pulls out a wallet, just like a flat wallet or whatever, and hands it to Jeff Burton. Doesn't touch it after that. Jeff Burton has it. Then he says, Riz, um, go ahead and just write down a name of someone that you're gonna, going to be speaking to in the next week. All right? So Riz does that. Mind you, Jeff already has the wallet. Already has the wallet. I was watching then, him to make sure he didn't steal anything, to be yeah. honest. That was the trick on my end. That guy over there is shifty. <laughs> uh, on camera. Then then Riz writes down the name. He shows it to Ben the camera. He shows it to Patrico and I and Jeff. Always is in the corner like Blair Witch Project, not looking not at anything. Looking. Then I he ripped it up. Then he rips it up. Riz into a rips it up. Million different pieces. Oz has Jeff then open the wallet, then take something out of the wallet, which is a, a completely different pocket, which has a zipper on it that is closed. Unzips that zipper and pulls out a card that says "Say hello," and then it has the name of the person that yeah, he my wrote. Mom. Yeah, it says "Say hello to Roseanne for me." Say hello to your mother for me. Say hello what to your mother. In the world. Yeah, I know. Mind blown. And Riz instantly started deal. shaking. And he spelled it right. I spelled, spelled it right. right. <laughs> that was the real trick. Because my mom spells her name R O S E A M. Is it R O S E A N N? I mean, there's multiple spellings of Roseanne. Tons. And if somebody spells it wrong, she gets pissed. I knew that. And he that. spelled it right. And he knew that. It was in. It was zipped in. <laughs> What'd you do with my mother? <laughs> <laughs> She's in the. Is suitcase. she here, mom? <laughs> mom. I can't reveal secrets. <laughs> I'm so confused. So uh, when when O's came here, we signed, we all signed this um, priority mail envelope. Like it's a sealed envelope. Like we don't know what's inside here. We don't know what's inside here. Uh, the four of us signed it. So mm -hmm. yep. he's gonna, Pandora's box is about to be opened. He's going to reveal that. But you want to talk to some of our listeners? Yeah. Let's get a few listeners to call in. Right. Read their minds. Let's go. See, now this is where it's really going to. Yeah absolutely blow my mind because even though you swear you didn't you swear you didn't there's people in the chat room that are saying oh i saw riz walk out of the room so they could have had a conversation no nope. moon could have had a conversation we didn't we can't set up callers uh, we open up to, the phone lines let's go to brian in granite city brian say out of o's hey brian how are you what's up top of the morning to you my friend when is your birthday october 7th 1994 Okay, we didn't need to, need to know the year, but that's okay. And your social security? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> October seventh, man. So we're about six months away, just under six months away. Let's think big for your birthday. One zero five seven, the point. Best alternative radio station by far, rocking it out. Tell me the name of a band that it could be all time favorites. Your call here entirely. Maybe for your birthday, we want to do something big. October seventh, we got a big birthday coming up. 22 years old. What is one of your favorite bands by far, my friend? Take it away. Tell us, what is that band? 21 Pilots. Nice. Just had him in the studio, right? Mm -hmm. 21 Pilots. Great. Let's get another caller. All you right. should definitely go do see them on, on October 7th on for your birthday. Right? Yeah, you can put them on hold. All right, Brian, hang on. Uh, Chris and Festus. What's up, Chris? What's going on, man? All right, you're on with those. And Chris, and we're going to need eventually a female caller as well. Chris, yeah. quick question for you. Uh, ch -ch -ch. let's say anywhere in the world you could go, man. Anywhere in the world. Think of a place you would love to go. Now, this could either be a place you've already been or you've never been there before you'd love to go. Tell us a place anywhere in the world other than good old-fashioned St. Louis. You want me to say it? Yes. Well, why? That's the game we're playing, yeah. <laughs> well, you are meant to. Italy. All right. Italy. Have you been to Italy before? I'm, my guess is no, you have not been. No. But you'd love to go. Is there a specific mm -hmm. city or, or it doesn't matter? No, just Italy. Nice, man. Travel around. Let's see if we can get a female caller online. I'm putting you on hold. Thanks All so right. much. Thank you, Chris. All right, Quattro, get me a, uh, get me a lady. Or Ladies. a gentleman with a very high-pitched voice. Oh, that, I'm, 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 I'm not here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he sounds like Mickey Mouse, doesn't he? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh, uh, nothing wrong with that. And we got the camera, right? I'm writing this down. I wrote everything they said. 10794 Italy. Keeping it honest. Yeah, if you're if you're watching, uh, I mean, there's a lot of people in the chat room, and the the cameras just exploded. A few hundred more people just instantly started co coming in, going, "What in the hell is happening?" And they were watching our reactions during the commercial break. They yeah. saw Riz get shaken. Oh. All right, we got uh, we got Casey on the phone. What's up, Casey? Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. 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 Hi.
Good. I watched you on, uh, was it America's Got Talent? That was me. Yeah. Who was Thank him? you so much. <laughs> that guy over here. Right there. There he is. If he you was, was on your TV if Casey screen. was watching. I was. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that she was going to say that. He was on your that. TV screen. Now he's here. Casey, oh, yeah. question. Where are you right now? Are you still at home? Um, yeah, I'm in my driveway. In your driveway. In the car. Yes. Question for you. The weather outside is about 62 degrees. What are you wearing? Uh, tank top and capris. Where is the tank top from? Um, I really have no idea. Probably Target. Okay. Good choice. Love Target. Love Target. Target. Uh-huh. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep everybody on the line. Riz. Open up that envelope yourself. Oh, yourself. No. Nope. Shut the I don't. Front I, I, door. I already don't like and, this. And I want to get. If we're gonna have you come on over here, you rip open the beginning part of it, the envelope, and I want to show if we can. That's being ripped open. Mm-hmm. And I think I assume everybody that's on the video, they might have been able to see. Can I just show the camera so we can see everything they said? Because I wrote that down. Ten seven ninety four. We had a birthday. Yeah. Italy. Uh-huh. Target. And uh, who could forget Twenty One Pilots? Why even write that down? I right. mean, those guys. Killing it. Take out what's inside of there. Mm. Oh, I'm just gonna. Mm. If there's, Show us oh, there's is that envelope. envelope. I'm world? such a tease. What have I done to this envelope? I, is, is the question. A, it's it's a Manila envelope, but it's been like taped around so with packing no, tape. With like, packing tape, so there's no possible way. Come a little closer. Now it's really hard to rip that bad boy. That's yeah. uh, purposely done. I'm giving you a safety letter envelope opener. Slice. Okay. Man. Yeah, that well, is get it. it in the hole. Stick it's a it in small there. hole. It is locked. Slice it. Slice it and dice it. And then come on over here. Slicing and dicing. <clears throat> Slicing and dicing. Oh, and gosh. I'm just going to pop this bad boy open. The Riz can... I'm going to show them on video so we can see this. I don't want to... Is this thing... Do you see how there's two different colors? There's blue and a pink. Yes. Do you want to come closer? Sure. Yeah, do yeah. Do you see how the blue one, the pink one's kind of right next to it, right in there? Here, come on in. I want you to grab the pink one. I don't want to touch. Do you see how the corner's sticking out? Grab Take the that pink out. one. Okay. Yep, grab it. You Take got it? it? Got okay. it. The blue one. I don't want to touch either. Okay. Read for them what I wrote on that pink piece of paper. After tearing open two sealed envelopes, you will have found this pink slip along with a blue envelope that contains the official results. It has been stapled hermetically shut on all four sides. Do this. Show us the official results. Is it really stapled everywhere? Open it up. Right. Did this I really go is. absolutely so like official, crazy? Official staple. results are completely wow. stapled. Yeah, that's a thousand did, staples. Did I miss a millimeter? No. Cost Reckless a money. disregard for the environment. And we did not see you staple anything, and I had this envelope next to me. Rip it time. open. Drum roll. Uh, I don't have a drum roll. Right. All right, oh, screw wait, it. Yeah, yeah, wait, Hold yeah, on. Do, do. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> drum roll ready. Here we go. There's papers inside. 17 more envelopes. I'm kidding. Riz, open that up all the way. Okay. This is not just a regular document, my friend. It's a press release. It's a press release. Dated October 7th. Oh, my. 2016. Happy birthday. 1057 The Point and the Rizzuto Show are very excited to announce that the Foo Fighters are coming to St. Louis and will be in the studio. What? Foo Fighters? Oh. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Our 105th listener to call in now is going to win a luxurious shopping spree at Target. And be entered into the drawing for our grand prize and all expenses paid vacation to Italy. <sighs> what? Some bad news to report. No. Dave, yeah, Dave Grohl came down with a mean case of laryngitis and the show was canceled. But not to worry, we're instead getting 21 pilots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling stressed out, baby. I'm feeling stressed <laughs> out. <laughs> this guy. This is ridiculous. What? Patrico just guy. got so impressed he peed a little bit. <laughs> 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 You poop your pants? I may have. What's that smell in the studio? You poop your pants? <laughs> this is unbelievable. This guy owes the mentalist. Wow. Thank you, boys. Thank you so what? much. You should be My called God. O's the mental F, is what yeah. you should be called. <laughs> I know he's got a plan to catch. Uh, you anything to promote, promote cards. your website, promote all your stuff. I'm coming back to St. Louis May 12th. I'm going to be here for another event. It's a corporate event, but maybe we might tag on something fun in addition. Can you come by again? I'd love to. Please, love Please to. Please do. Dude. Come on back. My gosh. What? More tricks up my sleeves. No sleeves today. No yeah, sleeves, no this sleeves. guy. <laughs> but, this uh, guy. What else am I promoting? At O's The Mentalist. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of the above, and it's got my tour dates and where I'm doing shows. Amazing. O's The Mentalist, everybody. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Amazing. All right, Silver Sun Pickups, Riz Show.